And we're back with some more RimWorld. And uh, first off, I've installed a few mods to make things uh, more convenient. Uh, the first one up is Interaction Bubbles. This one allows you to see what they're saying. So you can see here that Grey Ghost tried to romance Alexios, but uh, yeah, it, it did not work out. So yeah, that, that's unfortunate. At the same time, I've also installed Minimal Lighting Control. Right now, it's kind of dark. So if we turn this on, we can at least see what's going on most of the time. And it doesn't mean that we're constantly in darkness because, well, there's a sun blocker. It's never going to get any brighter than it is now. We've got the darkness meme, so we're using dark lights. We kind of need to make a few changes here to make this less, well, more viewable for people. And finally, the last thing we did was facial animations. Uh, for example, if you look at the pawns here, you can now see they actually have sort of weird looking faces. It's kind of gone anime like, but... Eh, whatever. It was recommended in the comments and I thought I'd give it a go. It kind of gives them more personality when you look at them. We'll see how it works out. Maybe people have better recommendations. We'll see. Or maybe I just won't like it. We'll find out. For now, we are going to clean the place up, uh, get ourselves a bunch of meals, and then we're also going to have to do a new research beeline. We need to get ourselves down a high-tech research bench. That's going to cost us, though. Those things are expensive, and I'd been avoiding it. 250 steel and 10 components. But recent information has made me change my mind, and that is now a prime, prime candidate for getting it. One really nice thing right now is Alexios, our new recruit, they actually have bloodlust. One nice thing about this combined with the other things we've got is human leather. They, they kind of like it. So they've got, where is it? Human leather tail cap is giving them plus two for wearing it, which is nice. And the human leather button down shirt is plus four. Okay, so they went up to plus four with two of those items. Now, I can't guarantee the skin actually came from their ex lover, but that's sort of Rimworld for you. It finds ways to just become darker and darker as you go along. All right, I need to get people the, the correct guns assigned out. I think we're going to have a, a little ceremony for Alexio soon as well. They need to take get themselves a little bit of a promotion. Well, I can't even get anything done without a bunch of rare thrombos showing up. And by rare, I'm, I've been saying rare in inverted commas there. That's just... <laughs> There's five of them. How many have we killed so far? This should be, this should be like the mascot of this place. Uh, we still have at least three thrombo horns lying around the place that we're using as close combat weaponry. But never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, actually, Slim. The moment Slim has come off their mental break, I got them to do a little bit of cooking first because we were completely out of meals. But I think the next thing they got to do is they got to do a counselling. They gotta give a counselling session to Alexios because soon they're going to have problems. They killed a couple of people recently, which is really helping them out. But the negative 26 they're getting from their friend and lover dying is kind of um, dragging them down a bit. But I figure, give them a quick counselling, that'll get rid of one of them. Uh, also, Alexios needs a promotion and we also need to, well, kill all those thrombos and add them to our fridge. I mean, we already went full darkness. We'd gone on to the whole cannibal thing just so that we had food, and now they're like, oh, no, that's no problems. we've got a bunch of thrombos, they're gonna show up. <sighs> never mind. Randy just, Randy knows exactly what to do and when to do it. Oh, and here's what a cancelling session looks like. You're just gonna go cancel Alexios, and that should get rid of one of the negatives there. And, poof, fa Fat Man Slim successfully cancelled Alexios, cancelling the mood impact of minus 16. Oh, yeah, wait, where is it? Yeah, up here. Cancelling by Fat Man Slim. It doesn't actually remove the negative. What it does is it gives them a counteracting positive. So instead of have minus 16 for 25 days, but they also have plus 16 for 25 days. And if we do it a second time, it should get rid of the second one as well. Or give them a plus 10 for 15 days. Very nice ability. Does mean we can't convert these quite as quickly as we'd like. But uh, we've only got six prisoners left alive, and I think a few more are going to have berserk breaks, and we might have to accidentally beat them unconscious. But, hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now, I'd like if those thrombos spread out a bit, and we're going to get the team together go out and nab one. Well, we're still trying to clean up the mess from the last tribal raid, and I'd love to shoot some thrombos, but they're really close together, and we're now suffering from a high psychic drone. It means our females are not doing so good. Uh, I gave them a beer, but that's not going to... That's only going to help so much. I think we're going to take in this crop, we're going to get everyone together, and... Actually, wait, it's time for everyone to sleep. Give me a minute. We should be able to get around to dealing with the thrombos in a minute. Well, looks like one of our pawns went berserk. Eh, uh, that's okay. We just locked the door and let them fight it out amongst themselves. Oh, wait, another one's went berserk. Yeah, we'll just, we'll leave the door closed. And then once the, the blood settles, we'll, we'll go in and heal them up. Wow, this has been a, a very rowdy bunch. Oh, and we've got a bulk exotic goods trader. Man, they'd buy up a bunch of thrombo horns. Ooh, you know what? Let's see if they'll buy our hats. Slim, how you doing? You're almost rested up. You know what? Come here and have a quick chat. Maybe we can sell off some of this scrap and at least pull in 
Ooh, maybe they've got a psychic insanity lance or something like that. That would be really helpful right about now. Selling all our plasteel kidneys and lungs, we're able to get ourselves exactly enough money to buy a psychic shock lance. I mean, that's... can't say no to that. It, it literally works out perfectly. I... Thank you, Randy. That is uh, beautiful. Uh, Slim, I think... Nope, you don't have that. You know what? We'll get you to equip that. We would like you to have that on your person. You're quite valuable. Force equip that shock lance. Then I think the plan would be... Yeah, no, we have to go for those... Uh, we have to go for those thrombos really sh shortly. We're running out of time. Uh, you know, wait till everyone gets out of bed, grabs a meal, and then we're going to go at it. As for this crowd, most of them have gone berserk recently, so it should be okay. Though, ooh, you know what? I want to go grab ourselves a few livers and kidneys while we're here. No, no, no. Conversion first, organ second. Otherwise, we might lose that. Like, that one there is almost, is almost converted. If we, you know, try and take out a liver or something, or a kidney or a lung, we might accidentally kill them and then we lose the conversion. So, no, we're not doing that. And, Blue, how are you doing? Guys, ah, middle finger destroyed. Does someone want to get around to healing them at some point in the near future? We're trying to actually recruit Blue, remember? Before we're going to go out there with this one thing we're going to do, we are going to get Alexios and we're going to do a quick conversion on them. Uh, actually, we'll leave Jarek out there. Uh, we are going to choose a new role and we are going to make them a gunslinger. Now, we probably could give them different names and stuff, but who cares? This will not increase their demands. What it will do, though, is make them unable to do pretty much everything from construction down to artistic. Uh, they'll still be able to do medical, social, intellectual, which is all we really care about, and it will make their shooting far superior. Uh, all right. How's your social looking? Well, your social is going to go up as well because you're getting to do your little speech. You can keep cancelling this a bunch of times to grind up their social, though uh, I'm not that motivated. There, as you can see, well, they can still keep animals, though. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Uh, they're successfully role changed. Now let's go shoot ourselves some thrombos, shall we? Okay, we're going to get Casey over here to start stirring up some trouble by shooting that thrombo. This might annoy more than one. Oh, god damn it. But don't worry, at some point they will eventually turn Manhunter. It's just the way things go. Actually, you know what? Shoot that one instead. Dear lord. There we go. Manhunter it is. Perfect. Now come back here towards this crowd. All we gotta do is make sure it slows down enough and then Casey can run it around in circles while we riddle it. Assuming we do this right. Come on. There we go, everyone's starting to shoot. What are you at, 16 hours? Come on, come on, stay focused. Yep, we are much better shooters right about now. All right, let's grab a few more of these. Well, we got all the thrombos. Unfortunately, Slim had a bit of a mental break. Uh, then fortunately, they actually just passed out from exhaustion. I think it was the exhaustion that almost broke everyone. Uh, I may have kept them out there just a little bit too long, but I did not want to let that many thrombos get away. I mean, we've been killing so many of them. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of thrombo revenges. We also got an exotic goods trader, but our best social person is Slim, who's currently... Well, napping. Uh, that's unfortunate. Actually, go 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 nap in your own bed now. Uh, we should probably call them up, but we don't really have anything to sell them. I was kind of hoping to hold out until we converted a few of these, harvested a few organs, and then, you know, had something to sell, but it seems that's just not going to be an option right now. Oh well, our first conversion is complete, and now let's see if we can't get some operational experience. Now, while the surgery may have failed, what did happen is we gained another level in medical. Uh, yeah, we maxed out our experience for the day. Now, we'll let them recover for a bit, and it's just a great way to grind up experience, and a little bit of extra money as well, though we're trying not to be too evil about this. For a little bit of wealth disposal, we're going to torch all of the tainted clothing. It is snowing at the moment, is it? Or it was. Oh, never mind. The fire will take care of most of that, and we still have to grind up those weapons. How's power looking? Power is good, actually. You know what? Let's grind up the weapons now. I think Slim is hitting the... The capa their max capacity for actually cooking meals. We can't cook meals fast enough for this many people. I'm going to have to streamline operations a bit, if at all possible. Uh, Steel-wise, we're still grinding up all of the weapons we got, which I'm keeping one spear just for melee purposes, though I don't think we need it now. We definitely have enough thrombo horns to equip everyone with one if needs be. Well, it looks like Casey and Alexios hooked up. Uh, excellent, I suppose? Well, that works. Excellent. Now we just have to get them a bed to share together. I don't think they even care that they're not together, do they? Oh, actually, that also reminds me. Slim, 
Uh, once you're finished cooking that meal, I think we're going to talk to Alexios again. Your convert ability should be off. Their uh, con council, ah, con council ability should be off. Cool down. We just got to get a double bed for these two, though. Hmm. How much steel we got? I really would like that research table. Oh, but I really would like that bed, too. Damn it. What's our religion looking like? Uh, we've got six points. Yeah, no. I was going to hold that until we got slab beds, but I think, actually... We have a bunch of human leather. We can make some bedrolls. Bedrolls are fine. And the quality of the bed is good. Actually, that's not too bad. In fact, most of the beds we've got so far have been normal, so I think this one will actually come out of head. Oh, wait, let me check. 103 for surgery, 105 for immunity, and 103 for rest effectiveness. I'll actually just put us... No, nope. perfect. That's actually slightly better than some of the stuff we've got already. We'll move it in here and we'll get the two of them hooked up. That will keep Grey Ghost hopefully happy. Uh, you, uninstall that. We don't want to make this place a barracks for them. Wait, wait, wait. I've made a mistake. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, if you look here, it's it's now a love triangle. So, Gus and Alexios and Gus and Casey are together. So, yeah, we did pick that free loving thing, didn't we? Yeah, well, I thought it would be fun. Physical love free and approved, so... And unlimited spouses, so... Okay, well, just... Uh, the way I've heard this works is we just stick all three of them in the same room and they'll be happy enough with it. No, nope. Stim, what do you do? No. There, okay, perfect. Uh, so we stick Gus in this one as well. And now the thing is, the people sharing the bed will get the got-loving bonus. The people not won't. So we can rotate them through, though that's probably going to be difficult. I think of all of them right now, Gus probably needs the lovin'. So Gus and Casey get the main bed. Also, I just discovered you can't cancel someone who's already been counseled, re counseled recently. Um, is there like a, how long does that take? Do I have to wait until the first one wears off so you can only cancel them, like have one active cancel on them at a time? Uh, in that case, let's go for conversions then. Well, one of our prisoners went berserk and bet someone else to death that was awkward oh on the bright side we had already converted them so not really that big a deal perfect perfect and that means they should have calmed down now yeah yeah they're no longer berserk they're over it oh well that was one of the people we were operating on which is kind of annoying but it doesn't matter we've got plenty of more people to get experience on we've even got alexios up to 10 medical and i'm pretty sure one more operation and they will be right up to 11 at that point getting uh getting so installing some bionics and artificial parts will become far easier Ooh, good news despite all the failed surgeries berserk failed surgery surgery failed surgery failed uh conversion whoever yep we got a war merchant Oh, yes. Finally, we can get rid of some junk, though. It is a tribal war merchant, so they won't have much that's good for us. But we might be able to at least sell them some of these uh, tail caps we've been accumulating, or just some of the junk around the map that we can't normally get rid of, like all of these t-shirts and clothing over here. If we could get rid of all of those, it'd just be nice. Keep the place nice and clean. As it is, I think we're doing quite well. We're keeping most of the wealth con consolidated around here, and we actually know where we stand. Transport pot, new lovers. Okay, Grey Ghost and Alexios. Okay, this is going to get confusing. Uh, okay, wait. Isn't Alexios already in love with someone else? Okay, so Alexios is in a... Is, is... Wait. This is going to get confusing, isn't it? Okay, so Alexios has three lovers. They've got uh, Grey Ghost and... They've got, wait, who's actually, oh, dead. Okay, and Casey. So the Grey Ghost and Kate. Let me get this straight in my head. You know what? I am going to sort out that love square or whatever it is in a minute. Uh, for the time being, it's time to sell off whatever junk we can from around the map. Like, we don't need that slate club. Nope. Steel spear. No, thank you. I've changed my mind on that. And there's got to be some other junk around here that we don't want. We have sold all of the junk clothing, a whole bunch of human leather tail caps, a lung, uh, some clubs and stuff, and we bought ourselves a female warg. It has taken a while, but we finally got one. We're in a position to actually afford and keep one. Excellent. Alright, the two you can have uh, free roam. For now, the temperature's pretty good. Oh, actually, what's the temperature inside here? Ooh, zero degrees. Damn it! I have to make another fridge. That's why I was keeping the steel around. I think... Hmm, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put together a fridge, though. See, we're sort of stuck in an awkward position that I want to put in a fridge... But I don't ever want to have to move it again. Well, first up, we are moving our fridge over here. I figure we've got a nice big area for it. It takes it out of this section, and this area can be con 
converted into bedrooms and things like that. At the same time, we're going to get a uh, Alexius over here with Coyote. Uh, Coyote, oh, damn it. Coyote here is someone we've just recently enslaved. Uh, the reason we've enslaved them is because we can now get them to punch a warg. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have them punch, like, Hope. Not a chance. We've got a new warg, so we'll have them punch them. Okay, and after they punch them, we can go in here, go to Execute. And, well, they should be guilty right now if we check under somewhere. Yep, here you go. They are guilty. So, Alexios, would you do us the honor of prioritizing the execution? Yep, there we go. And done. Now, that doesn't give any negatives to anyone. No, everyone seems quite happy. Killed someone. Plus 12. Well, okay. Alexios is quite happy. Actually, I still haven't named Alexios with a... I'll get him a patron name in a bit. But that worked out quite well. Perfect. So we can take them in here, convert them, operate them on them a bunch. Then we can enslave them and execute them. Yeah. The mechanics in this game get a bit deep after a while. A little bit too deep. Well, Exotic Goods Trader has shown up. Wonderful. Um, what is that? A kidney? Why is there a kidney in there? Oh, wait. Someone ever cared to that the last one. Okay. Experience is going great on our doctors, though. Uh, Alexios is up to 11. Uh, we've got Grey Ghost up to 8. And Gus, who started off really low down, is now up as far as 7. I think 8 is like a comfortable medical spot, or that's what I'm comfortable with anyway. Uh, we've stuck in a couple of medical beds here, which drastically increases the chances of the operation succeeding, which results in less damage to the uh, pawns, which means they're more likely to end up being useful later on down the line. This is, is working out quite nicely. I should probably... Actually, how's our prisoner doing? Blue's resistance is still at 6.3. We should be able to recruit them in short order. But uh, yeah, let's see what this uh, exotic goods trader has got on offer. Unfortunately, all we have is money. I should really start queuing up some more stuff for sale. All right, this was a hard one. Uh, we sold them the kidney and the liver, of course. We sold them two thrombo horns, and in exchange, we got an insanity lance, a low shield pack, and a telescope. Telescope's going to help keep our people recreated. The low shield pack and the psychic insanity lance could save us from some nasty attacks. They're pretty much the best. I Don't get me wrong, I would really love to get my hands on some statues. I would really love to get my hands on some bionics to improve the mood of one of our pawns. I would really love to get a psychic suit pulser. That would actually be really handy. Those skill trainers are always good. There's a bunch of tricks. There's loads of stuff we would really like, but this, I think, is, is stuff that can keep us alive. Or stuff that can help us stop, not run into a mental break, which will also help keep us alive. You, I'm thinking, inside the fridge somewhere. Hmm, let me think. Hey, Warg 1 is pregnant. Well, that means we're going to have to give them a name. Now, can we actually name these, or do I need to install a mod to do that? Please welcome Despair to the team. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to call Hope and Despair's kids just yet. Maybe name them after the Seven Deadly Sins, that might be one way to go. You know what? I'll, I'll think about it in the background. We'll find out when they get when uh, the kids get born. Ah, mortars. Things we can't even begin to afford. Uh, what to start researching next? Uh, well, well, geothermal's kind of pointless. Oh, prosthetics. We're going to be getting into that at some point, I presume. So we might as well start the research on that. I really want to get in this science bench first, but there is just a couple of things that need doing. Oh, and I finally figured out the love square. All right. Okay. Let me let me try and explain this. Actually, before we do that, I, I have to actually give Alexios a name. Uh, that would be a good idea at some point. Please welcome Petro 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 Massimo. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one before and mangled the pronunciation. Well, Petro Massimo, uh, Gus here has a fiance. Their fiance is Casey. So Gus and Casey are sharing a bed because they're fiancés. Now Casey also has a lover. Their lover is Petro Massimo. So Casey is sleeping with Petro Massimo on the side, and Petro Massimo on the side side has Grey Ghost. So Grey Ghost and Petro Massimo are sleeping together, Casey and Petro Massimo, are, mm, Petro Massimo are sleeping together, and Gus and Casey are sleeping together. So we put all of them in the same room, and then that means they're happy. Uh, they don't. It's not even classified as a barracks. I, I don't know what. I don't know if that's because of some meme we've picked, or it's just because they're all, you know, in some sort of weird polyamorous relationship thing. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I think someone described it best. We're a bunch of... What is it? Ah, yes, yes. Here's the comment. Raider fleeing for his life gets shot multiple times in the back by a colony of swinger bigots simply to take his organs and eat him. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're we're a colony of swinger bigots. I, I like that description. It kind of it, it's you know it's just sometimes Rimworld just goes that way. Anyway, what we can do right now is what I've been meaning to get around to since the start of this episode and put down a high tech research bench. It's going to cost us two hundred and fifty steel, of which we have two hundred and seventy. Yeah, we, we had to spend a bunch and that's cooler, unfortunately. Well, that's sort of necessary. The temperature outside during the summer goes above zero, which was slightly unfortunate. This high-tech research bench is also going to cost us 10 components. Um, we only have 12 components, so let's maybe grab ourselves a few more. We actually have three ship chunks around the map somewhere. Let's see, there's one here, two over here and one over this side on the far end of the map. We'll deconstruct those. That Each one will give us five components, so hopefully... I figure if we just take as few components as possible to keep us going, Randy might look and go, oh, you have solo components, he'll drop us down something. I mean, it, it's it's okay to hope. Ooh, our first inspired creativity. Gus got one. Gus? Do, do you even have craft? No, your construction. Okay, you got a nine in construction. This thing will be a couple of levels higher. Uh, normally I do a bed. Because beds are great for doing operations on, and an excellent bed would make our operations much cleaner. Also, we're getting... Ooh, let me check something for a minute. Uh, are we able to have a, like, I know there's a ritual you can do where you can bury one of your colonists, uh, one of those public burials, but I don't think you can do that with a slave. Nope, never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, time for an inconvenient solar flare. Nothing we can really do about that. This is also one of the reasons we haven't bought cows just yet. We need to have enough wood in stockpile that we can heat up the place for cows, otherwise they'll get frostbite the moment the, the power goes out. What's the temperature looking like there? It's at least six indoors, minus 22 outside. Uh, it won't be actually that bad. Oh, and wood-wise... Oh, I should probably put down another planter pot of these uh, bonsai trees. We're slowly but surely grinding up our wood. We're up to four bonsai pots. Um, This will make us up to five. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Five of them can't hurt that much. Uh, new lovers. Oh, good. Okay, wait. Who's with who now? Okay, blue and trawler. Oh, God! Damn it. Okay, so two of our prisoners have hooked up. <sighs> What's your medical, Blue? Yeah, on the bright side, you won't have to do anything to troll her. Um, mm, we can cancel them. That's it. We can cancel them afterwards. It'll be fine. We can just... Uh, cargo pods. Okay, what do we got? Berries. Well, more importantly, we've got slag. Yeah, we'll take all the slag and... Yeah, we'll find a use for the berries as well, I suppose. Uh, Conversion-wise, we've converted someone else. That puts us at 10 points. I think there's one left to be converted. Uh, I'm going to guess Trawler. Yeah, once Trawler's done, that's... Well, that's the end of all those prisoners. We, we're only keeping Blue to actually convert over to our side because of the great memory trick quick sleeper thing. Uh, but they did lose their right middle finger. Hmm. Actually, wait. Slim lost their left middle finger. Oh, the two would make a wonderful couple if we could get them together. Oh, uh, I want to try and get Slim liked more by the group. I figure if we can get Slim or Jarek to hook up with either Gus, Gregos, Casey, or Petro Massimo, we can then have all six of them in the same room. That just seems uh, really convenient somehow. Um, so we're going to have this new slave punch the... Well, we're going to have them actually punch Hope. We don't want to punch Despair. Despair is pregnant right now, so that seems kind of like I'm not a monster. Uh, Slave-wise, we will execute, and then we will have Slim perform the execution. And that means everyone's going to get a, a nice mood bonus towards Slim. I think it's a plus 20 from everyone, so let's say grab... Okay, Gus here. Uh, when it comes to Slim, they've got a... Oh, minus 10 for killed colonists? What happened there? Oops. Hmm. Well, I can't figure out why Slim didn't get a mood boost. Uh, if you check on, say, Casey here versus Petromassimo, they have a plus 35 mood versus Petromassimo or Social because they executed two prisoners. Um, hmm. I know, we'll find out when we execute the next one. Uh, Bill, Boba, whatever. We're, uh, we're currently doing a little bit of medical stuff on them to uh, grind up our skill and get ourselves a few more organs. And we have a bulk goods trader passing through. This is really good news. Please tell me, please tell me you've got some good resources. Even if it's just wood, I think we'll take it. Whatever we can get our paws on. When it comes to bulk goods trader, this one is terrible. Just awful. Uh, we got rid of the human leather tail caps and a bunch of junk we had lying around and we bought all their wood and we're still going to come out with 741 silver from them. We're pretty much cleaning out their silver and all their wood. I was even going to buy some of them herbal medicine, but I thought... Nah, we're fine. We've got uh, enough herbal medicine for now. And we're growing our own, so... 
Yep, thanks for all of that, guys. Uh, ooh, yeah, I better expand that wood stock, but I think we're going to turn all of that wood into more bonsai trees. Why? Well, I want to see how far we can take this bonsai tree, tree thing. I, I, I don't know, it just it seems like a good idea. Well, now that prosthetics are finished, there is the next step up. Uh, basically, deep drilling. I was under the impression that deep drilling did not work out here at all. And in theory, it doesn't. As in, you can't just chuck it down and start mining rocks out of the ground. However, if you do get the ground penetrating radar scanner, it will find mineral deposits that are somehow under the ice, under the sea, and, and then you can drill those. So somehow you're able to drill, drill through the ice, through the water, through the ground beneath it, and find minerals, but you can't find rocks. Um, just seemed very counterintuitive, but yes, it, it turns out it's, in, it's possible. I did a debug test map, and yes, you can find minerals out here and drill them from underground. So we can get all the resources we want off this tile, assuming we can get to that tech. Um, and what's going on? Oh yeah, we're con we're cracking people's will. We're going to convert these last two over to prisoners and maybe make Slim a little bit more popular with everyone. One thing I'm hopeful about when it comes to putting in these bonsai trees, they might actually drive up the impressiveness of this room a bit, which means we could keep using it for our uh, actual dining area. What, we're at 37 impressiveness? Come on, Jarek, finish the last one. Uh, no, did not help in the slightest. I thought it would help the beauty in this area. Each one of them gives a plus 12. Oh well. Looks like we'll just have to pile in more of them and see how many it takes. Right now, Petro Massimo has a very bad opinion of Slim over there. They've got a minus 57 of Slim. Or, you know, different things like, you know, their lover, their friend, kill the colonist, a bunch of other stuff, whatever. They're a bit of a crybaby. However, what we've got here is... It'll put, whatever, a, pr a, a slave. And what we're going to do is we're going to get them to attack Hope. Sorry about this, Hope. Okay. Uh... Draft him up, get him a little bit of weight. Let's make sure they've got the guilty tag now. Okay, they are definitely guilty. That is fine. Now, everyone, get you separate. You know what? That, that was fine. That needed to be done, I suppose. Uh, right, in that case, we'll just go over here and we'll go to execute and slim if you wouldn't mind prioritizing executing them. Now, Petra Massimo, what's your view after all of that? Oh, seriously? But they just executed someone. Oh? Really? I thought every time they executed someone, they got a little bit of a mood boost. Yeah, well, never mind. One thing I failed to notice is plague just struck three of our colonists. Well, four if you count the slave we just executed, but three of our colonists got plague. That's not good. Now, I've put a light in here, and I've set everyone to get at least medical tend with herbal medicine. Uh, we're going to need to be careful for a while here. Wow, 10 quality of 70, even with herbal medicine, that's kind of nice. Uh, 10 quality was 70%, 10 quality was 70%. Yeah, all of this medical testing has paid off. Now, someone someone want to get on Jarek there? Jarek needs a, a little bit of TLC, if you wouldn't mind. Another 70% tent. Nice! Wow, Gus, Gus has decided now is the time to throw a party. Hey, half the people have the plague, and even I've got the plague. Party time! You know what? Go for it. You all want to have a party, that's fine, though. Jarek... Oh, how's Jerk doing? Jerk's actually pretty borderline on that plague thing. Uh, that's that's nervous making. Uh, you know what? Let's let's set you to uh, best quality medicine. We we want to make sure nothing bad happens to you. Uh, we will reinstall the light a little bit closer to you as well to make sure whoever's doing the tending has the maximum low level quality light we're allowed. All right, Jerk. Only the best medicine for you. Hundred and five ten quality. That better kick the snot out of that plague. Yeah, that's way too close. Jesus. Right, everyone else is doing fine from it though, so I think we'll be fine on that front. Like 49% immunity to 33, and then 45% immunity to 34. Yeah, yeah, I, I think they'll be fine, as long as we stick with the herbal medicine on the other two and keep Jarek really topped up on the good stuff. I'm beginning to regret not buying that herbal medicine when it came by. And here was me thinking Randy had forgotten about us. Ah, uh, of course not. Randy never forgets. Ooh, our wealth is getting a little bit high. You'll see our, our points for wealth are 302, our points for pawns are 248. Yeah, we need to dump some wealth somehow. Oh, I also have a bunch of... You know what? I'll get the carpet in a minute, and this is where they're landing. Let's maybe slow that down a bit. Okay, that's an EMI dynamo, 9.8 days. Yeah, we can't let that come online. Oh, God. Right. So, they've got a Lancer Assembler. Oh, that's that means that'll be eight Lancers if we let that go. No, we have to take this out. We can't let this get up and running. We have a Lancer, Lancer, Lancer. How many Lancers? 
Well, that's way too close. We need to do something about this as soon as possible. Well, wait, let me, let me rephrase. The moment the plague is dealt with, which should hopefully be another day or two, we need to take care of this. What sets this off? Proximity activator. We've got a countdown activator. So we need nothing to go near it. And, ooh, unstable power cell. That would be nice. Hmm. Damn it, I need to come up with a plan. Because those four lancers are going to be a problem. We need to draw the lancers away and kill them first. Or get into a slug... I don't want to get into a slugging match with lancers. That's just a bad idea. Hmm. Let me think. All right, I figured out what I was doing wrong. I was letting the slaves loose and executing a slave. That's bad. What you want to do is get the slave guilty by punching your animal. Then once the slave is guilty, re-imprison them and then execute them. And then if we check on Petro here, they've now got a plus 20 happiness versus Slim because they executed a guilty prisoner. Perfect. Well, it took me a while to figure it out, but I got there in the end and I've been remembering to strip them before execution. So learning slowly but surely. Uh, Jarek, how are you doing on the plague front? Uh, you're up to 79% immunity. Gus and Casey. Gus, you're good. Casey, you're good. We just need for Jarek to develop their immunity. We still got a bit of time before this activates. Was it nine days or someone comes in proximity? Still not exactly sure. We might have been building some walls close by, not too close by, and use that to try and lure out. Well, the pikeman's going to be a big issue. The thing is, the lancers we can outrange with a bolt action. But the pikemen we can't, so we need some way of getting that pikeman dead. Hmm. So we might build ourselves a little mini kill box and try and lure them into it. Oh, but that uh, we'll have to wait until after Jarek is uh, cured. One thing we did once all the prisoners were gone is we moved the heater out of there and put it into the science room. Uh, excuse me while we uh, make ourselves a little kill box. Oh, and we're also going to need to turn Casey into a melee specialist. We don't need to, but... They don't really have much going for them. We can also turn them into a shooting specialist, but I haven't used a melee specialist before, so I'm willing to give that a try, and you're going to eat without a table. Well, you get what you deserve. We are going to turn Casey into a spear funk. Yeah, I really should have renamed those, shouldn't I? Oh, well, whatever. It happens. Uh, this will make them a melee specialist. Uh, they won't be able to do a bunch of stuff, namely... You know what? Let me show you. Uh, if we go grab Casey here... They won't be, do, be able to do anything the same as Petra Massimo, so they'll lose all of that stuff in the middle except animals. So it'll be the same here. So they'll lose everything except animals, which is good. We, we That's the only thing they're actually good at. We might end up making them into a shooting specialist later on, but for now I want to try a melee specialist because we are going to be doing a little bit of that here. Uh, busted ship. Okay, what's this? A shuttle of the refugee empire is taking damage, seeking a place to land. Uh, pirates will attack. Shuttle contains two other civilians and five Janissaries. After eight hours, a rescue shuttle will come pick them up. Ooh. That looks delicious. 14 hours. Oh, that's... Mm. This could cause us problems, though, depending on where it lands. Uh, okay, we'll have to see how this goes. If this goes well, great. If this goes badly, well, we're going to be in trouble then anyway, aren't we? Mm, we've got 14 hours. All right, we are ready to start tackling this mess. Um, okay, so what should happen is we're going to get Jarek here. Uh, hold your fire for a second. Get out here. We're going to get you to start shooting. That will activate them. And then they'll come down here because this is the only... Actually, wait. Uh, let me lock the animals inside and close the door. Slim is not taking part in this. Um, Slim, actually, I don't want to risk them in melee and other people have better shooting. So I think what I'll get you to do is close that door. That way they can't get in here. And let me rezone the animals. All right, animals are going to stay inside. And once that door is locked... Come on. Done. We can lock you, lock you, lock you. We're just going to make sure Slim doesn't do anything dumb, like go outside and get themselves shot. Um, Now you can start shooting. Uh, actually... Hmm. Hit that Lancer. Oh, come on. What's your shooting? Uh, 14. I suppose... What? Yeah, when they're lying down, they're much harder to hit, it seems. All right. They're active. Uh, you get back inside immediately. Quick, 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 quick. What's that noise? Mechanoids have woken up and been assembled. Right. So we're dealing with more than we thought. Marriage is on. Well, now is a great time. Great ghost proposed to Metro Massimo. Okay, great ghost. How many? You're only getting married to one, right? You have one fiancé. Okay, no, that's fine. So, great ghost is getting married to Petro Massimo. 
Uh, Petra Massimo only has one fiancé as well, so it's it's still pretty normal. Oh, that's nice. Just when you're about to die. I mean, not die, but... Oh, and dr deep drilling is done. Perfect timing on the deep drilling. Where were we? Grand penetrating scanner. Thank you kindly. Um, Why is no one coming at us? And I didn't do up the wall. That uh, that would probably explain the issues. Go take... Whoa! That was awkward. Go take a pot shot at someone. Okay, run. Run, 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 run. Hell of a shot. You killed a lancer. Yeah, how are you actually doing health-wise? Okay, right hand. Okay, that kind of sucks. It's going to mess with your uh, dexterity. But whoop, 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 whoop. get back inside. Uh, Gus, we are going to get you. Actually, we are going to draft you and get you to prioritize constructing that wall. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Right there. Ah, all right. Come on in. We are open for business. Wow, that's that's pretty effective, actually. Oh no. Uh, that pikeman is needs to die. I really should have given the shield belt to Casey. That would have been the smart plan. Guys, can you please shoot the pikeman? I want to make sure I'm not targeting the actual sandbags beneath it. Wow, that was, uh, I really should have maybe put them on hold fire until they'd gotten further around the corner. Oh, okay, 1.1 days until it assembles. Uh, okay, Lancers, assemble. Now, you are going to need medical tending. Casey, also a little bit of medical tending. We are not going out the front door. Front door is covered by gun turrets. Lots and lots of gun turrets. Hmm. We are going to need Slim to come out here and smoke the place up so that they're able to get out of there. Yeah, that's why we left Slim outside with the smoke launcher. The smoke launcher is no use in there. Uh, you deconstruct that wall if you don't mind. Now, I have to keep a close eye on them though because uh, if they try and escape out before we get smoke launchers there, they'll they'll do something dumb. Uh, give me a minute to see how quickly we can manage this. Well, we've sent several people home and we're just staying behind with some shooters here. We just want to take out those turrets. Oh. The blast radius on that is... I don't really worry about it. These gloom lights are terrible. They only give light in one tile area around it, and it's like 50% light, and then the moment you go beyond one tile, it's useless. And even at diagonal, it's 43. I can't think of a use for them, plus they're sort of incredibly expensive. They're worth 133, which... No. All right. That just leaves EMI. Actually, I should probably kill the assemblers. Lancer completes in one day and one day... No, Lancer's never going to get to complete. I'm afraid all of you are going to die. Uh, Slim, you can go home. Yeah, no. Go home, go home and eat that at a table like a normal person. Yeah, if they ever try and eat food out in the open now, just get them to drop the food and then haul it home. Then they'll haul it home, be close enough to a table, and then they'll start uh, doing, or then they'll start eating at a table. Uh, cool. Give me a few minutes to take care of that, but I doubt we'll be taking on this quest. I don't think we've got the time to accept it. Uh, let me see. Well, I'm giving us as much time as possible before we accept this quest. I think, yeah, that's that's close enough. Now, I've been looking at the rewards that come in here. And I do like the idea of a Psychic Insanity Lance and an Advanced Component. We're going to need the Advanced Component. Psychic Insanity Lance doesn't hurt. The goodwill I'm tempted by, but it'd be really nice to have a good trading partner or an ally. But no, we are going to accept for this. Now, mm, we do get five Janissaries to help out to defend three people, and it's going to be in the field, so we will have to move fast. Oof. But on the bright side, so long as... Oh, actually, we should open that door as well. Uh, actually, no, we'll leave that door closed. They should never come near our base. We'll keep the animals inside still. They should only go after the enemies. And uh, where are they landing? That's too close to the edge of the map. But that's way too close to the edge of the map. That means... That, oh, are we going to even defend against this? Yeah, we see... We need to... The enemies always come in at the closest side, so what, are they going to like suddenly appear here or here? If they're close combat ones, that could be really nasty. Hmm. On the right side, gear-wise, we do have one Psychic Shock Lance. We have one Psychic Shock Lance. We have one Insanity Lance. And we have one Low Shield Pack. So we do have a lot of stuff that can help us out. I'd prefer just not to spend them on this. 
All right, uh, it will be about four hours before they show up. It's normally about the midpoint, but we need to maybe put down some defenses. Did any slag chunks land? They have one slag chunk. It's not really going to be much cover. Well, here they come, and I am not nearly as well prepared as I, I would like. Uh, we've only got these people here so far. However, there are a decent amount of cataphracts here. So they do have... Oh, damn it, they've got a low shield pop. Uh, Ghost, we are going to want you to... Actually, Petra Massimo. Marksmanship command, pop it now. You, Ghost, I want you out here immediately. And I want you to tag... That guy. Actually, where's your, what's your range? Okay, plenty long. Tag this guy right there. That guy. I need him tagged immediately. Excellent. Okay, the moment he's tagged, that means he deploys the shield. Once the shield's deployed, they're all going to mess it up. Damn it. Come out from behind the shield. Okay. Uh, Casey, you're back here. The rest of the team are inbound. This is terrible. I should have had them here earlier. I was an idiot. Moving, moving, moving. Blue, you are moving into position. Gus, you are also moving into position. Oh my god, I'm... S we need to make a change here. We need to expand this zone. Zone will go like so. Uh, this zone will get deleted, and then we're going to get everyone to move this stuff. So, you prioritize hauling. You prioritize hauling. You prioritize hauling. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. My bad. Copy settings. Paste settings. Much better. Then, prioritize holding. Damn it. I'm an idiot. This is going badly wrong. But in a second, we should hopefully have everyone where they need to be. You. Right there. Ow. Right, that's... Didn't see that coming. You, you completely bypassed all the other people and shot me. Mm. Casey. Hang around over there. Okay. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Get into cover. Petra Massimo. You are an absolute savage with a gun, so shoot that guy. Uh, you can also shoot that guy right there. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Uh, grenades. You know what? I think it's time we had some grenades. Okay. Uh, next grenade stash. You know what? Put them there. Suppressing fire. Blue, get over here. Uh, we are going to say... Actually, we can delete that. We can extend this zone a little bit. Hey, I'm all for having cover. You, uh, haul those. You are going to... Hold that one right over to that section. Where's the rest of our people? Okay, Jarek and Gus are inbound. I think this is not going too terribly. If that guy tries to get too close, we're going to have to shoot him. Which, actually, he is trying to get too close. All right, so that guy we shoot. If he gets too close, Casey can step up front and start uh, having a word with him. Okay, Penny? Yeah, get that Penny guy. Yeah, so long as Penny is tied up in close combat, I don't care. Um, how many is left? Not many. It actually worked out surprisingly well. Who's blue? Bean? Blue? Oh, that's our guy. God damn it, blue. Uh, you are going to draft. It, nope, don't. It. Okay, getting a little bit antsy. That's my problem. Fine, you get back here, then go to there. Is that guy there? Melee attacking blue. Okay, in that case... Dear lord, that's some good gear. How do you have recon armor? Well, we're going to shoot you point-blank range with, an, uh, with a charge rifle. That should make a mess of you. Where's the rest of everyone? Uh, yeah, the warg is going to... Yeah, we'll have to let the warg loose. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, Grenade-wise, I think we're going to have to change targets. Maybe over here somewhere. Actually, we'll fire on the grenades for now. We might shock glance one or two people. Uh, that guy, maybe? Actually, let's see if any of these are worth keeping. You know, looking around, there are some interesting ones, but the one that interests me the most is Le Leia here. Um, the reason they interest me is they've got a coagulator. 
I would like that coagulator. I would like very much to steal that coagulator. Uh, nope. Okay, goes Slim. You have a psychic shock lance. Zap them. Zap them good. Plus, they're on go juice, which means they're going to be hard to take down any other way. Now that they're downed, we can capture them and take the coagulator. Also makes their life a little bit simpler. Uh, why don't you put a grenade over there somewhere? Uh, okay, what's left? Ooh, nice grenade. Nice grenade, Slim. Uh, hold still for the moment. How is that guy still up? Five hours until death, you are still up as well, which I'm kind of impressed by. Oh! Slim, that was a beautiful grenade. Took that guy out, solved the problem. This guy needs to go down as well. Uh, you. Bolt action. Hit that. Wow, I'm just realizing that these guys have still not arrived yet. And, I mean, it's not like they were really far away. It was just a case of this has been going down so quickly because these guys were so close. And how many of you are still up and about? There's like one, two, three, four, five, six of you up and running. So I think if one more of you goes down, maybe two. How? How are you still... Oh, go juice. God damn it. Go juice again. Oh, another one went down. That just leaves... Seriously, one, two, three, four, five of them. Five of them left. Ah. Oh, thank God. Hope, how you doing? Seven hours still beating out. Go juice just makes them so hard to take down. It's just insane. Okay, you guys can run away. I don't think you have any gear we really want. Simple meals? Nah, it's grand. Biocoded revolver, biocoded assault rifle. Oh... That was a horrible mess. I should have had everyone here. If I had everyone here, this would have been an awful lot better. Uh, Injury-wise, you have got yeah, a few hits. Blue right middle finger that was already destroyed. Stab scar aching. Oh, please tell me that was from before. And Slim. Slim's just like, no, nah, I'm good. I just grenaded a few people. I'm so happy. <laughs> Trust. Uh, anyway, yeah, let me see if I can't clean up this mess a little bit. Uh, and you guys better survive. No immediate danger. Uh, eight hours, right? We might want to medic you if we can. Uh, this guy. This guy needs to get got. Yeah. They're still up and running. Casey, you're still actually doing pretty good. Three conditions need tending, but you're generally a pretty good dodger. And yeah, this guy's going to die. What's the bet's next hit gets him? Wow. Still up and running. Three hours until death. Dear Lord, you just would not die. What the hell, man? All right, well, thanks for the go juice. We're going to need it, but uh, I think we're golden. Exit. Uh, Squint is probably the only one that's going to make it off the map. That was a hell of a fight. Now I need to get Laia into containment so that we can remove that coagulator. That coagulator would look beautiful and slim. That would get rid of that uh, body mother frustrated uh, problem and make them an awful lot happier. All right, let's start cleaning up. There comes our rewards now. One Psychic Insanity Lance, which we'll just chuck inside for now. There's, it's, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to bring everyone back, capture everyone, strip them off, get their gear. Like we've got a Marine helmet out of this, some extra flak vests. These are all going to come in handy. There's also a bunch of tainted clothing over here, but there is, where is it? This one has a tainted flak vest. There's a couple of those lying around the place that we can scrap up. There's a lot of spare parts and resources in here. We just got to be careful. Also, we want to change all the prisoners so that we're only feeding them simple meals. We don't want to give them anything more than that. So we're going to set everyone to actually let's change the defaults. I haven't even had a chance to start cleaning up the mess from over here. And we've got ourselves another quest. Uh, quest is Vera's Climate Adjuster. I had a quick look at this already and I kind of like the look of it. Basically activates a site nearby, very similar to the uh, sun blocker we've got, but it decreases the t regional temperature by 10C, which means, well, I'm kind of okay with that, especially right now, the temperatures right now are positively balmy, and it's protected by seven manhunting links, and we get a Silent Neuroformer, or a low shield back, it's Silent Neuroformer, it's gotta be the Silent Neuroformer. I'll wait until that's closer to expiring before we accept it, just to keep the temperatures up for now. I don't really see any negatives to that, and plus we can go ahead and kill it later. And a bunch of Chickens have joined us. What? Randy? Uh... Are they... Yeah, I don't think they're zonable. Oh, damn it, fine. Uh, we'll need to get them somewhere where they can cause the least amount of problems. In that case, we will get a caravan hitching spot in here. 
Yeah, I suppose. I mean, we're not going to keep them. I mean, I would like to, but we just don't have the capacity to keep them just right about now. Uh, how's it coming on the heel route front? Yeah, we're starting to run out of meds. I'm really, really regretting not picking up the meds in that last caravan. But it's fine. We're still growing some of them, and we should get enough steel out of our most recent acquisitions. And we should be able to make a few more hydroponics. The damn hens are eating all the pemmican and the simple meals and the ambrosia and... Oh, god damn it! Just kill them now. I, I don't want them. Killed a lot of them. Let God sort them out. Well, after doing a lot of slow little, little mincy bits of micromanagement, I think we're ready to accept this one. I think we can handle another minus ten. Uh, we still might want to get rid of it, though, before the next deep winter hits. It gets to minus 70, so a minus 80 would be just a tad bit of too uncomfortable for some people. And yeah, climate adjuster. It's not too far away. Seven lynxes. Pods arrived. Hell yeah. Where are you? Okay, that Neuroformer, we should probably hide that somewhere. We don't want to use it just yet. I'd prefer to get at least one level somewhere else. Uh, let me think. We'll hide you over there in the corner. It's fine. Yeah, someone might want to move that. As far as I'm aware, though, they don't degrade. I think our next bet, though, is give me the floors. I want to put red carpet in here. It's 126 material. And since we've got four people sharing the same room, why don't we just move them all into this room and four people in a decent room will all get a bit of a mood bonus. In fact, if we could hook the, get them all into some sort of weird love octagon or something, it'd be perfect because we could just jam them all in one room, saving ourselves space and resources. This, hmm, this whole polyamorous thing could actually work out quite nicely for us. Oh, that uh, reminds me, that door needs to be opened. Jarek, uh, open that, would you please? Gus's expired creativity is about to wear out, so I'm going to try burning it on a bed. <sighs> a good one? Seriously? Oh, man. Excellent would have just been preferable. One good steel bed. We also have a good silver bed. So this gives us a surgery success chance of... Actually, that one's 79. Surgery success chance of 102. If this room was cleaner, it'd be better, but it just it gives a quality multiplier of 105. 110 was sort of what I was aiming for. Uh, never mind. Uh, who's blue? Why are you so unhappy? Ah, your lover died. Uh, moderate expectations. Oh yeah, we haven't hooked you up with someone yet. You're still on the outside. Hmm. Damn it, we're going to have to do something. Oh, serious pain as well. Uh, go grab a tea, why don't you? Drink some psychite, uh, drink a beer. We'll start you out in a minute. I need to get someone with some with grenades over to that. There's a couple of things I want to do before we cut out for the day. So to help out with our power, we've stuck in an extra unstable power cell. We just nicked it from this area over here, which we just cleared out. So now we've got three unstable power cells. That's 1200 watts of base load power. This is the reason we don't have to keep flicking on and off our power nearly so much anymore. By and large, it's, it's sort of stable. Uh, do I do need to get someone to finish off those wall segments? Once the wall segments are done, I'd feel a lot safer with those in there. All right then, we've also got our ideology reformation up and running. We just converted another one of our prisoners. That's an extra point. Now, mm, you know what, I think I'm going to cut this out here for today and think about that long and hard in the background. We're just about to wall these in. That's going to make us nice and stable. We've got a whole bunch more steel that's just come in in terms of scrapping. Well, those assault rifles are both biocoded, unfortunately. That would have been nice. Though we did get our hands on a good sniper rifle. That opens up several options for dealing with threats that come in next time around. Uh, as well as that, we also scrapped all of the stuff that was over here. I still have to demolish that little kill box. So there's plenty of little resources. I want to add another wind turbine, expand out the last of the hydroponics, and then after that, I think we are good to get into the last of it. I mean, the ground penetrating radar scanner is almost done. Once that's done, we can start ripping stuff out of the ground. Okay, okay. That... We'll have to come later. Ooh, actually, bedroom. Look at that absolute beauty. We now have a decent bedroom. We don't have statues yet, but once we get a statue, they'll be much better. This affects all four of them that are in there. In fact, if we throw in a heater in there, they're going to get rid of that nasty debuff they're all getting. Uh, for example, let's just grab Casey there. We check. They've got a minus four for slept in the cold. If we throw a heater in there, all four of them will lose that minus four debuff. Like That was one of the reasons we wanted to switch our religion out for the, the pain one. Where is it? Ah, pain is virtue. Pain is virtue gets rid of the temperature complaint, but it also gets rid of comfort. So if we can get rid of the temperature one, that might be okay. Uh, the other choice was to go with, I think it was a uh, tree connection. That also allows you to get rid of temperature tough and rough living. The temperature tough and rough living are tied to those two. Guilty doesn't, unfortunately. All guilty gives you is something to do with charity and torture crowns or something. It, it, it's weird. 
I'm thinking, I'm not even sure I want to go with Pain is Virtue now. I might leave this just a little bit longer before we get another uh, religious meme on top of it. I'll have to do some thinking in the background, but for now I'm going to cut this out. I think next up it's going to be all about, well, expanding our team, getting better weapons and uh, drilling stuff out of the ground. Once we've got the ground penetrating scanner, we are definitely knocking out precision rifling. That will get a sniper rifle, so a few more of those, and maybe even some miniguns. Hmm. Have to see. But yeah, once you've got resources out of the ground, new kill box as well. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Yeah.